Well, let's see here. Today's class, guys, we're going to have so much fun doing our 3D pop-up art. You've got your glue stick ready? Yes, I got my glue stick ready. I have scissors, a pencil, and some colors. Okay, grab whatever markers, colors you want. Now, for the paper, use whatever paper you have. You just need two pieces of paper that are the same exact size. Colored pencils are perfect. I'm going to be using cardstock um, because my markers are really rich and they like to bleed through. Okay, so I'm going to be using cardstock to um, make my pop up 3D art today. Okay, so grab those supplies. Uh, we're going to go into an outer space adventure. You guys ready for the outer space adventure? And what did we do last night? Um, Jonathan, what did we do last night? We did the Papa Penguin. Where's my penguin? Let's see here. I have a penguin in here. Here it is. We did the Papa Penguin last night for my special, being the special guest for Mr. Mark Kistler. So if you weren't able to do that, I have that on YouTube now and I have it on keepdrawing.com. So if you wanna go and make our cute little penguin pop-up that is available now for you, yay. Okay, so let me show you a few examples of pop-up art. Um, some of these, I think I've done all of them in marker. So I have different types of markers depending on what class I was teaching and where. This one has braces. Yeah, I love it. My daughter did that one. We've got a monkey taking off with the banana. It's taking off with the banana. Let's see the flamingo. That one's coming in 2021. We're gonna do the flamingo in 2021. Here we have our space. Uh, I think this is Bob's cousin. We, we created Bob. Now this is Bob's cousin. So we've got that one going on. Let's see anything else. Oh, this one I did in pencil and colored pencil. So you can do that in any medium you have. That is always off an option. It's always awesome. Now, when you go into outer space, has anybody ever been in outer space? I have with my imagination. <laughs> I see weird creatures, right? This this creature has two eyes, but what's different about the two eyes? Yeah, they're 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 uh, stacked on top of each other instead of side by side. So that's why that alien is super super cute. Look at this one. He's got one eye and a very big mouth. Blah. So today is going to be all up to your wild imagination. Okay, this one my daughter created. She said there's six eyes on here. Can you count all six eyeballs? Let's see if you can. Did you get them all? Yeah, we got one thumbs up. Do you see them? Let's see. Let's count. One, two, three, four, where are the other two? Down below, five, six. There. <laughs> wow, she was pretty sneaky on that. <laughs> oh, and then she made one with the tongue popping out. Ah, that is funny. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. We're going to do a frog next year and we're going to have the tongue popping out so he can get, what is that? He going to get the fly. <laughs> So you know it. And we've done the peacock. We've done a peacock. Beautiful peacock. So any any ideas you have, let me know because I love to create more and more and more pop-up arts. Uh, let's see here. So today we have done some serious fun going in outer space, right? This is Bob. We created Bob a couple years ago and his alien dog with his fish and the cat. And this is the animal planet, right? And then we've got, of course, we have Pusheen. Of course, we have Pusheen coming in on the action, right? So we've created a, quite a few creatures for our outer space adventures. But today, when you think about going in outer space, um, what kind of creature do you see? 
Oh, this is my three-eyed blob. You see three eyes? So I took the two openings, okay? We've got two pop-ups that we're gonna create. And I created a mouth. Look at it, he only has one tooth. He's a, he's a baby alien. <laughs> and I created some planets and stars up here. So he is on planet, we're gonna have to name the planet. Are you ready for that? Are you guys ready? So look at what I did. I have two pieces of paper. One we cut, okay? We only have two little cuts. And then one we use as the backdrop so we can fill in that space. So if you go with me step by step, we can create this really cool masterpiece. Are you ready? Ready for the blob? We need a good name for him too. I, I, I haven't named him yet. So let's clear our desk, get all our supplies out. You need two pieces of paper that are the same size. Okay, one, two. Now, what you wanna do is lay it flat on your desk in front of you. Make sure they're stacked together. Grab one side and fold it over. Now make sure it's horizontal. Yes, horizontal meaning long ways. Okay, look at this, this direction, not, not this way. You want it this way. And then put your hands together and let's crease that down. It's very important that you get a good crease on that, okay? So grab a pencil, grab a marker, something to rub that down with. You want a nice crease. The, the key to our success today is a good crease. Okay, now put them back in front of you, just like this. Get your pencil and put your initials in the corner so you know, okay? Just put like a star or something or the first letter of your name right in the bottom corner of both pieces of paper. That way when we, when we need to put them back together, we know that that's the way they're made and we can, we can slide them back together and they'll fit. Good, you got it? Okay, I am loving this. Now take the top card, put it on your desk, take the bottom card and put it somewhere else on your desk, okay? So we've got the inside card right here. Good, now close it and put that fold, see the fold part, right in front of you. Put it right in front of you and put your one finger right in the middle of your paper. Good. I've got these markers all over the place. Now I'm gonna come over here to this side. So look at the middle, from here to here, look at the middle, and you're gonna draw a short line. That's gonna be the, the top eye, I think. Nope, that's gonna be the bottom. Let's do it longer. There we go, a little bit longer. And this one up here, a little shorter. Okay. Now, the way I know which one I want is when I open it, my initial is down here at the bottom. So I want the longer line on the bottom and the shorter line on the top. Okay, just double check that. Open it up. Is your initial down in the bottom? Do you see it anywhere? Did you do one? Did you get it, Titus? Where is it? Up there? Okay, flip your card around. Make sure it's down in the bottom right corner. Good. Now, when you close it, do you have a long line and then a short line? Don't worry, we're not gonna we're not gonna breeze past this step. This is the most important step. Everybody got it? Thumbs up. Oh, here's an alien. Phew. Yay. Okay, once you have that, this is when you grab your scissors and just make two cuts. Okay, follow your line just straight in. Even if your line isn't perfectly straight, just go in, okay? Just go in on it. And you don't wanna to cut too far, okay? And you're cutting the side with the crease, okay? So when you open it up, you're like, what is going on? Now my paper has holes in the middle. That's what you want. That's what you want, because we're gonna be creating these nice folds right here to create those openings, okay? That's what we're gonna be doing. Excellent. Okay, now just grab one of your folds and push it down. You don't wanna to go too far, you don't wanna tear 
and you do want to rub that crease really good okay remember you can grab a tool next to you you can grab um, a marker or pencil and rub that yep use your glue stick that's perfect and rub that your your crease needs to be really really pushed down so that way when you force that eye go through the other side it will work and stay okay once you have them fold them back down and you can see that i've got a really good crease right here yeah can you see that okay flip your card over to the other side we're doing origami Woo! <laughs> once you flip it on the other side pull those folds back the opposite direction okay pull those back rub them down making sure you have a really good crease there a really good crease you got it excellent let's do the top one good 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 that's excellent I'm gonna crease those make sure you've got really good flat creases that's gonna keep those folds open on the other side when we pop them out. Okay, once you have that, you can fold them back down. Ta-da, fold them back down. Now, be very careful when you open your card, okay? Be very careful, you don't wanna force it. Now I have these nice little diamond shapes in here. I'm gonna take my left hand and push them through. Okay, push them through just very carefully and then push the bottom one through very carefully. Once I do that, I can close it and I should have these nice little cutouts. You see how I did that? And then I'm gonna take my tool again and I'm gonna push down as hard as I can to get them to stay. Okay, get your marker, get your pencil, rub that down as best as you can. And then your, then your paper should be really flat, it shouldn't be flopping open it should be nice and flat you're doing excellent look at you you're gonna be a pro do you do it good now put it down and push once once you have it close it and push these down okay close it and get it nice and firm firm pressure when you push that down good you did it yeah then you can hold it up and look through it and just don't stick your mouth through it because then you'll have wet paper ew ew titus i love the star wars shirt oh makes me want to draw star wars things Woohoo! i love to draw star wars things Woohoo! they're super fun now grab your other card and let's stick them together let's make sure our initials are together okay if yours happens to have the tall one at the top, you can just flip your card around, okay? Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. This is the fun day. Fun day, fun day. Woohoo! Okay, did you get this? Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this card in here, take my pencil, and trace this little cutout. That way we know where to put the eye inside here and the mouth in here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to flip the card over, leave it on the inside. It doesn't have to be a perfect outline, okay? It doesn't have to be really perfect. Don't draw real dark. We just need to have some idea of where uh, those are going to be on the inside of the card, okay? That way, when we take it off, we can draw our, our cute stuff. See, it's not that cute, but when we put it together, what? Perfect. That is awesome. So that way we know exactly where we need to decorate, okay? So we're done with this card for a little bit. Let's go ahead and draw our three-eyed alien. Now, if you wanna add more eyes, that's up to you. Um, I don't need to hold you back. You have fun. You go crazy. You can have, well, how many eyes did we have on one alien? Let's see here. When we drew this guy, how many, how many eyes did we have? Anybody know? How many? 
Jonathan? 10? Do we have 10? I think we do have 10. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, <gasps> 11. Woohoo! You were doing it right. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Very cool. Grab your pencil. Now I'm going to have the small one for my eye and then the bigger one for the mouth. So you need to decide right now what you want to do. Okay. If you want two eyes, an eye and a mouth, two mouths, you know, whatever. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to create a bubble around the top mouth or opening. Mine is going to be an eyeball. Can you guys see that? Okay. Got to lock my, lock the camera in. So once I have that, I'm going to put some, some hair on the top of, of uh, my alien here. So when I get out my markers, I know where my colors need to go. Kind of looks like a tomato right now with the little green stuff on the top. <laughs> We're going to do vegetables. We're going to do vegetables. Now underneath this eye, I want to have two big eyes. So I'm going to put two big um, circle, oval shapes, whatever, whatever you want to do. Get those in there and then erase what's inside. Okay, erase what's inside there. We have some overlapping. So the closest object is the one we're focused on here. And this one, I created some really fun eyelids. Look at those eyelashes. So I'm going to create some eyelashes on this little guy by pulling out some zigzags and then bringing them back onto that eye. What do you say? Is that hilarious? Give some zigzags. I'm going to go ahead and clean up inside of this area so that way I don't have a bunch of lines uh, once I get my colors out. I don't want a lot of... Um, extra pencil lines. Though with marker, it's okay if you go back and erase once you have it. So it's not like watercolor paint, which is difficult. There we go. Okay, let's do the other eye as well. Let's curve out and do, I like to do just three little zigzags. Just a easy, easy way to get some texture on there. And then for the eye, instead of having a circle with a reflective spot, I put a little V right there. Can you see that V in there? So I'm going to just put a big old circle in my eye right here and then pull in a V. Okay. Let's do that over here as well. Big circle pull in a V. I'm going to erase that little line there so I remember I don't need to color that. No color needed. Okay, perfect. Now the body of this little blob, it's pretty easy. I just pulled it out like a little slug or snail or whatever, tadpole looking. Um, so I don't want them to be perfect, so I'm going to wobble it, wiggle my line a little, and pull it out toward the right. So I'm just going to wiggle, 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 pulling those lines out, and then connecting them. Ta-da! He's a big blob. I might make this top wiggle just a little bit more. I don't want it so perfect. I want it to match the body, so I'm going to wiggle that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. So that's super fun. Look at that. Woohoo! But we need to work on the inside of the mouth and the eye, right? So when you look in there, you don't have to draw it like this. We can take it apart and draw it. Because we've marked the area, we know what we need to do inside of the the mouth and inside of the eye space. So go ahead and grab that second card. My mouth is pretty easy. I'm just going to give him one big tooth. 
So I just put a big letter U in there. Just a big letter U. And then I'll take my color and I will color this outside of the lines right here. And that way I just get a really good coverage and there's no gaps. For the eye, I'm gonna do the same type of pupil and then I'm gonna add a little gray just for some shadows inside of that eye. Okay, so here I'm gonna add a nice big circle. Gonna put my V in there. And ta-da, kind of looks like Pac-Man. You even know what Pac-Man is. Do you know what Pac-Man is? Okay, that just dated myself, that's depressing. Oh well, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So when you put them together, check and make sure that's the way you want it so when we go and add color you're pretty pleased with it okay and while we have our pencil let's draw some background i want some planets back here what we wanted earth we want earth we want mercury over here is that right i'm going to do mercury smaller than earth and i want saturn over here so oh, Mercury actually is almost the the same size as the moon. Oh, really? Well, is Mercury closer to us or further away? Farther. So I'm going to make it small just because objects that are closer are larger and this is further. Is that okay? Does that work? Thank you for that information. I, I haven't studied planets in a while. So all my kids are, are pretty much grown. So I'm gonna take two dots outside of my um, planet here and I'm gonna do a little foreshortened circle around it to give it that really fun, uh, the rings around Saturn, you know? So I'm gonna just do some rings real quick. Just throw some really weird shapes on here there we go why not that is so cute and i want to put mr oh have we named him yet we totally need to name mr crazy guy here i'm gonna give him uh the the planet wait a minute the moon is not a planet is it no we're just gonna put him on the moon the moon how's that <laughs> We're just going to put them on the moon there. Now this looks pretty fun, but I think it would look really awesome in color. So I'm going to start with this page right here real quick. And I'm going to um, give this some color. So I'm going to do the tooth. And again, I'm going a little outside of the the little template we made because I want to make sure I don't have any white spaces there. So I have a Sharpie that I'm going to do my outlining with. Um, I am using markers today. So I'm going to be using green and gray and actually two different greens. I just think it's hilarious to have two different greens. Um, I have my gray and I use blues for my planets and gold and brown. So adding just a little bit of extra stuff in there. It's too cool. I'm gonna add some shading for my eye right here, a little on the tooth. Again, I'm just going over over my lines, I don't want um, any extra white, so I am going outside my lines just on the inside of my pop-up. Here we go, yay! So I love that, I'm gonna check, make sure I have really good, there we go, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. This one, I'm going to start coloring and I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna put a scrap piece of paper underneath just in case I, I get a little messy up here and go through that, the opening of my eye and my mouth there. So I'm just gonna take my time and create a really cool, 
monster here. Not a monster, it's an alien. The alien invasion. I still need a name. Okay, I think I did a good job with my green. And the earth over here is green as well. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some green while I have my green out on this one as well. So I'm just making the earth just whatever shape to make it look like earth. Who knows what, what year this is. Who knows, right? Whew. I'm going to put some green on here, maybe some darker green, give it some really pretty coloring. And some brown. I like to add a little brown on my my earth. Got to have your trees and your mountains. And snow if you're, you know, getting snow right now. Oh, not me. I love having the two shades of green for my, my alien. He is so funny. With his eyelashes. I'm telling you, he kind of looks like he's a relative of Yoda. <laughs> no? How about this guy? Is he a relative of this guy? Mike Wazowski. That's exciting. I love it. I should have the animal planet out here too. That's where I would live. What planet would you create? If you could create your own planet, what would you have? Any planet, Jupiter. Any planet. I just Jupiter. Jupiter? You love Jupiter? What do you love about Jupiter? Isn't it spins the fastest. <gasps> oh, wow. You love planets. That is so cool. You're giving me all kinds of information that I've long since forgotten. Gotcha. And it has some craters. Craters. Oh, okay. Now we go. There's some texture there. I like it. I do like that idea. Okay, let's see here. How many stars do we want? We want we want a atmosphere full of stars, right? Now, how many people want to go to space? Yes, no, I don't know. I'm not really fond of airplanes, so or actually roller coasters. So I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it. Could you do it? That would be kind of crazy. Be kind of crazy be awesome crazy right so i'm gonna just outline my moon here with some craters i'm gonna put some little craters down here as well underneath my alien oh this is so much fun I'm adding a shadow under my planets underneath the bottom so it looks like they're they're coming toward me. Woo! That's the way to do it. Let's see here. Does my eye and my mouth look like they're all matched up? I'm gonna add a little, little bit of shadow underneath my, my dude here because gravity is holding him down. Look at that. Oh, I love how you did the stripes on it. Here, I'm gonna put some dots around Saturn. I think that's what I have is Saturn here. Give it some extra stars in the sky over here. That way he can, uh, no, oh, he's in space. The 
this is so much fun. Outer space, underwater adventures, those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. Now, before we finish, we have to glue this together. If you don't have glue, it's okay. You don't have to glue it together, but I'm gonna show you if that's an option you want to do. So that way you have a complete art piece. There we go. I've got stars back there in the sky. And let's see here. Okay, I'm going to grab my glue stick. Where is that? On my desk. Who knows? There's things everywhere, right? We've got, we've got a creative explosion all over my desk. Ah! There we go. Okay, if you've got your glue stick, let's make sure our card works, okay? Make sure both slots open and close. See how the top one just fell in on mine? I need to make sure they both are open. Okay, I'm gonna crease it down one more time. I'm gonna make sure everything lines up. Okay, so when I open it, ta-da, it works. Okay, make sure it's lined up. Then I'm going to put this inside here, make sure they line up. I'm gonna grab my glue and do one side only. Okay, only this side over here. Don't go in this little opening that we've cut. Just leave that all glue free, no glue there. Just rub it all over the place. You have liquid glue, just a tiny bit. Okay, just a tiny bit, it goes a long way. Now line it all up before you close it and then rub it down. The heat from your hands will activate the glue and it will stick better and faster. Okay, glue that down. And now when you open it up, one side should be, be just one piece here. Okay, this side should just be one piece. If you have a part that doesn't wanna stick, just work it a little bit more and ta-da, it sticks. So now let's flip it over and do the other side. Let's do this side, glue this down, give it a nice, good work over with the glue. Stay away from the eye and the opening areas. You wanna not glue that because you want those to be open. Okay, perfect. Close that card, rub it down, get that glue warmed up. Make sure you rub those edges. Those are areas that want to come off usually. Rub it down really good. So when you open it, you should have a solid card. Look at that. We did it. I want to sign my name. I am super excited. Well, you guys are awesome. I love it. I love it. Thanks for creating with me. And I'll see you in the next class. Okay, guys? Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye.